Hi, I'm Kitty, and I just want to show you how to make this really lovely herringbone style bracelet. It's not based on herringbone stitch because it's we're only doing sort of a single row bracelets here with the super jewels, but it creates a really nice herringbone pattern. The stitch is really easy and it grows quite quickly. You can make it in a single color or you can mix your colors up and do multicolor bracelets with them. I really do love them all. I'm going to show you in a video to do a multicolor, but if you want to do a single color, then you can just um, choose to do so with one super duo. So the materials you're going to need, we're going to be using three different colors of super duos. We also are going to need size 11 seed beads and a toggle clasp of your choice. Also, using super long size D, I doubled up my thread. I've taken a couple of arm span. I did leave my bobbin on at the end, so later on, if I need more, I can just unreel it and start beading from there. So, pretty much from the beginning, we're gonna use all three colors. I love these colors. These are sort of got a little bit of a matte finish to them, and I love mixing the purple with the navies and the blues. I just think it looks really, really good. So you're going to start by picking up, let me just take this out of the way, you're going to start by picking up two super duos. Now the only thing I make sure when I work with super duos, I sort of turn the needle to myself and look through the holes of the beads because maybe one in a hundred or one in a thousand you get a bead where the second hole is blocked by something, a little bit of dust or a little bit of... Um, glass shred or something in there but it will block you to come back on it later on so it's really good when you're working with two hole beads so when you pick them up just sort of have a quick look that the, all the holes are nice and clear to work with so slide both of those super jewels down on your thread then i'm going to pick up two size 11 seed beads Locate where you're exiting at from your super duo and come through the same super duo but on the other hole. And when I pull this up, these are just gonna sit. I'm gonna suspend the work on my finger. So I just wrap the tail end around my index finger here and I can really nicely and easily hold it between suspended between my fingers so then you go i'm going to move to the second color but if you are using the same color just carry on with the same one again i picked up two super duos and then i'm going through the other super duo which i picked up first towards my tail through the other hole the free hole and when i pull this up tight you can see the two new super duos they're just going to sit in like the first two just housing these two really nicely. Now we're gonna pick up two size 11 seed beads. I'm gonna turn my work around because I like to work away from myself. And gonna go through the new super duo I just added on the free hole. I'm gonna go back towards the center of my bracelet and pull that tight. Now I'm gonna move to my third color and pick up two of those. I'm gonna, as I created this little V shape here with my super jewels from the previous row, I'm just, as I'm coming out of this one, I'm gonna go straight to the other side and go through the V hole on that one and pull this tight. And now we can see we got three little super jewels sitting on top of each other. And I'm picking up another two size 11 seed beads and I'm just gonna come through the ones I just added, I'm going to come through the free hole on that one. You're working from one side to the other side. Once I got a few steps, I'm going to let the tail end go because now I got enough beads there, enough stitching there to be able to hold onto it nicely and tightly. I'm just going to repeat this until I get the right length for my bracelet. Sometimes it's hard to keep a tight tension. So what you can do, I'm just going to pull this up. And if you see I haven't got a tight tension right at the end there, always go back a previous step. I'm just gonna pull on these two seed beads and you can see by pulling on those two seed beads, it will tighten up the row I'm coming out of. And then I'm gonna hold the 
super juice between my thumb and um, index finger so they can't then move away from each other and pull my tail end back and that will really nicely tighten up my work. You want not a very tight tension but a nice and even tension all the way through because when we come back around the edges later on we're going to tighten up the bracelet anyway. So keep on carry on and adding your super jewels and seed beads, zipping from one side to the other side, all the way along until you get your desired length. And then I'm gonna show you how to add the end and we're gonna turn around and fill our sides. So just keep going on adding your beads. So I'm just adding the last two seed beads to the side what I need to add. I don't want to add any more of the and any more length to my bracelet so i just added the last two seed beads as i'm coming out of my super jewel bracelet here i'm just going to pick up the same color but i'm only going to pick up one and go through the other side the same way as i would be going if i were still adding the stitches to my bracelets so we just created a nice little pico edge here at the end now what we're gonna do we're gonna weave up and around and add our clasp so i'm gonna pick up three seed beads because the length between this end of the super duo and the one at the top is a little bit bigger so two seed beads will not do it so i picked up three and i'm coming through the very edge the very last single super duo on the top of my bracelet. And now I'm ready to add my clasp. Right, so now I'm gonna pick up five seed beads and then I'm gonna go through to toggle the T-bar, the loop on the T-bar of my toggle and take this all the way down. Now I'm going to pick up another two seed beads and I need to go back down through one of my beads. So I'm going to miss the two I added just before the loop. So if you've got five seed beads here, I'm going to miss the first two and I'm just going to go through that third one, the middle one. And when I pull this up tight, we're just going to create T-bar, the, the little T-bar the of the toggle is sort of caught between two seed beads on either side and we're coming back through the third seed bead. I'm going to pull this down so it's nice and tight against my bracelet. Then I'm going to pick up a further two seed beads and I'm going to come back through the top of this, the very top super duo on my bracelet. So locate where your thread is coming out before you are adding the clasp you're going to have to come from the opposite side and go through that super duo and once we do this this will then um, centralize our clasp so if i turn it around and pull this nice and tight you can see our clasp is going to sit nice and in the center now what we're going to do we're going to run down on one side add the clasp on the other side and come back up on the other side of our bracelet so as you're coming out of this super duo pick up three seed beads and you're going to go all the way along the edge we're not going to go through the super duos just the two seed beads added on the side of the super duo and we're going to repeat this all the way down so every time we're picking up three seed beads and just going through the next two in our row this will create the lovely edge of our bracelet and pull the whole bracelet together so if your tension was a little bit looser this will tighten it up so every single time just pick up three size 11 seed beads and go through the next two on the edge of your bracelet running all the way down adding the last three seed beads here coming through the last two 
tidbits bits on my bracelet now i could go straight into my clasp but what i like to do is to go through the top the last two super duos so this way the clasp will be joined to the super duos as well as the seed beads so i just came through the last two super duos i'm then going to pick up five seed beads one two three four five and then go through the loop on the toggle clasp itself take this all the way down take it all the way down again i'm gonna pick up another two seed bead i'm gonna discard the first two just after the loop and then i'm gonna go through the third one which is the middle one just there and pull this up tight I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another two seed bead and come through those two super jewels at the top the same way I just did, centralizing my toggle clasp at the top there. I mean, that one this side is secure as well. Then I'm gonna turn my bracelet around and I'm gonna run down all the way on this side adding the three seed beads where they are missing. My last three seed beads in here, and I'm gonna go through those two and all the way up to the top and around my clasp. So just make it more stronger. Just like go around every single bead through the loop then I'm going to turn my bracelet around and come back down just like that now I do like to as I said to run down all the way right so I'm just going to take it down a few more beads so I'm not knotting it right up next to my class so I'm gonna do um, one thread knot it's actually called a half hitch knot as well so I'm gonna go between my seed beads and my super duo bead and I'm gonna catch the thread I want to catch the thread not the bead between those two beads now as I'm pulling my thread through you can see this loops forming before this loop would disappear I'm gonna take my needle through it and as I'm pulling this tight you can see there's a little knot is gonna form on the top of our thread then I'm gonna take it through a few more beads and I'm gonna repeat it one more time catching the thread right underneath there pulling this through before this loop disappears going through the loop and pulling it tight forming a knot as we go along then I would never cut my thread off right next to my knot I'm going to take it through a few more beads and then cut it off when I'm cutting it off I'm going to pull the thread up with one hand I'm going to take the scissors position it on the top of my bracelet and slightly push down with my scissors so I can get a really nice and close finish and I'm not going to have any tails thank you for watching see you later Check out the other videos on this playlist to learn more techniques just like this.